during your freshman year of college or university, you'll go through a lot of changes, including your weight if you're not careful. Registered nutritionist Leanne Phillipson joins us with five tips to help combat the freshman 15, the dreaded freshman 15. Good morning. Good to see you again, Leanne. Good morning. Great to see you too. Okay, so how do we do that? Because it's so tempting to go it for is. those carby snacks, Ringolos, got me I through. Know. <laughs> so you're, you're going to school, you've got a demanding and new schedule, and eating healthy at the same time is such a difficult thing to do. Yeah. So first of all, if you can get in your dorm a fridge, a small appliance, a microwave, a kettle, anything like that, or some sort of hot plate, it's going to make your life so much okay. easier. So let's, so let's jump breakfast. in with first the food. First of all, you have to eat your breakfast. I know do we always say that, but you do. Skip. You can't skip breakfast. Studies show that not only the freshman 15 is a real thing, but also that as you put on weight in your early teens, your 20s, then there's more chance of obesity. Mm. Skipping breakfast leads to that without a doubt. Yeah. So some really fast ways to get out of uh, out of your dorm super quick is some chia pudding here. It takes two minutes to make and it sits in the fridge. Hard boiled eggs. How make did you that make that? Up. Is okay. it yogurt, chia seeds? This is these are chia seeds. Yeah. And all you do is fill it up with milk. Oh. Put in some maple syrup, some vanilla, and you're good to go. Okay, that is perfect. it. Put it in the fridge and that's everything. Mm -hmm. Here I've got just a, just some fruit. These are some champagne grapes, but you can have a banana or anything like that. These kind bars here are low in sugar, okay. crazy high in fiber and protein so it's going to keep you going until lunchtime. Appreciated. My go-to is Greek yogurt. This fantastic little container has got a spoon that sits underneath it. You just build it up like this. This I got I grabbed from Staples because I thought it was perfect for breakfast. Have some protein, have some fiber so that yeah, you feel the full fiber. longer. And also these granolas, a lot of granolas are really high in sugar. This kind one is, is quite low in sugar. Okay. Portion size, emotional eating. Mm -hmm. That's really tricky. You're getting stressed, you've got so much work to do, all that kind of stuff. So you've got to make sure you watch your portion size. Put everything into a little container. Take this guy with you, some sugar snap peas, some hummus, um, and also some little carrot sticks, because otherwise it's not going to go in. Mindless eating happens while studying. Exactly. It happens now. I and find I'll go through a whole thing of crackers. I'm like, how did that happen? It's super sized. Unless so, it's a bag of yes. sugar snap peas. Yes. It has to go into a bowl. Yes. I love this backpack that also I picked up from Staples. I've put all of these bars in here. You don't maybe need as many of these, but perfect for after your workout in between classes. Mm -hmm. And again, be choosy about what you're what you're eating. Read the back of the labels. These are really low in sugar. Five grams of sugar or less is ideal. That's okay. what we've got in the kind bars. Lunch and dinner, what to do? Uh, you're busy, you're on the dinner. go. Yeah, and any time of day, any time you can get veggies into you, but they have to be quick, convenient, yeah. and delicious. Yes. So here I've got some slaws. Again, put it into a container because maybe you need to take it to go. You've got a, a good lunch break. Any of these, this is a rainbow slaw. This container you can put a little bit of dressing oh, in, cute. put in some nut seeds, some sort of protein. Here I've just put in a little bit of extra chicken for some protein, protein. goat's cheese, is also fantastic in there. This looks delicious. Is that egg? Doesn't it? It's just a really fast omelet that I made and I came across these uh, man's nourish bowls and I thought perfect to stock your dorm fridge with okay. because everything is in there. It's a bowl like this, comes with your sauce, everything. This is my fave right here. Three or four minutes in the microwave. This is cauliflower. I keep telling all of my clients to have this instead of rice mm. because it's who doesn't need another serving of vegetables yeah. and it's a better it's kind of a carb, but not as rich as, as rice. It gives you that feeling. And this is a curry flavor. There's a whole bunch of different flavors. A little bit of protein that can go in there as well. So really, really good. And you can even eat these just straight from the bowl too. Okay, last but not least, do not drink yourself into a I larger know. size because it can happen. It's like if you drink all of this, it's almost a thousand calories and it's so easy to get through even just, you know, four beers. Right. If you start early, you've had a stressful day. And you know what goes well with that is pizza. That's right. <laughs> the late night snacking, right? all of the 2 a.m., 2, 4, slices yeah, of pizza yeah. make sure that you stay hydrated if you're hydrated then your brain doesn't get confused about being hungry versus dehydrated and that happens after too much beer great tips as well as get enough shut eye because that helps sleep, with your metabolism sleep, sleep so 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 important thank you so much Leanne. Thank for you. more information breakfast